Hi, welcome to Onboard Boat Club here at Southport Marina. Today I'll be showing you how to operate the boat and where all the safety equipment is located on the boat. Before going out on the water, make sure you have enough life jackets for everybody on board. Make sure you have life jackets for children as well. Life jackets are located in the front compartment here under the seat. A throwing device is also provided. On every onboard boat, we provide safety equipment. The safety equipment on this boat is located under the rear compartment in the seat. Inside, you'll find an air horn, an emergency flare kit, a first aid kit, and up front here, we have a horn to the right, and we also have a fire extinguisher located in the bottom here. If you happen to be pulled over by the Coast Guard, the state numbering on the boat is located on the port and starboard side. The registration card is also located in the compartment beside the driver's seat. To start the boat, you first have to turn the battery switch on. You're going to want to turn this to two. Once the battery is on, you're going to want to lower the engine into the water all the way by pressing the down button. Once the engine is all the way into the water, you're going to insert the key. You're going to take the safety tether, put it underneath here, and you're going to turn the ignition to start. The boat comes equipped with trim gauge, RPM gauge, miles per hour gauge, fuel gauge, GPS with depth finder, a VHF radio, a stereo system with Bluetooth, and down here we have a USB and an auxiliary input, as well as a 12 volt power outlet. Whenever operating the boat at night, make sure the navigation lights are on. The switch is right here next to the ignition. When anchoring the boat, the anchor is located in the front compartment here. Pull the anchor up and throw it in the water. Make sure you give it at least two times the line as the depth you're in. Once you've thrown the line in, make sure to secure it to a cleat. When bringing up the anchor, make sure you drive all the way past the anchor to release the pressure off it, then haul it up. Some general boating rules. Please do not make any wake in the marina or any channels. While the boat is in motion, please be seated at all times. Children under the age of 13 should be wearing a life jacket at all times. When docking the boat, please make sure the bumpers and the lines are on the correct side. In the unlikely event you have an emergency on the water, I'd like to go over the procedures for contacting the Coast Guard. First thing you should do if you're in distress is put a life jacket on every person in the vessel. The two best ways of contacting the Coast Guard are one is by VHF radio and two is by cell phone. VHF radio is located up in this upper compartment. You need to go to channel 16 and hail the Coast Guard by just identifying that you are a 23 foot boat in distress. Wait and they will contact you back on 16 and give you directions. There are a few things that they'll ask you when they contact you. First of all, they'd like to ask you, what is your current location? You can give them your location and latitude and longitude, which is located right on the face of the radio or on your GPS. If you have an electrical issue on the boat and this equipment is not working, you can use landmarks to identify yourself. For example, you could say that you're two miles north of Carthage College. The other way to contact the Coast Guard is with your cell phone. The number you need to call is 414-474-7170. This will contact Coast Guard Station Milwaukee, which has a 24-hour emergency service for you. You can also dial 911, but they will actually make that same call, delaying the process. You're better off calling them directly. The next thing the Coast Guard will ask you is the nature of your distress. Examples would be, my engine won't start, my boat's on fire, my boat's taking on water, or I'm lost and I can't find my way back. The next thing the Coast Guard will want to know is how many people are on board. They'll ask you how many adults and how many children. And of course, they'll tell you to make sure that everyone has a life jacket on board. Finally, they'll ask you to describe your vessel. You can simply describe this as a 23-foot pleasure boat with navy blue hull, white top sides, and a Yamaha engine. These are the basic questions that the Coast Guard will ask you in case of an emergency. All of our boats are equipped with the latest safety equipment, but we did want to familiarize you with the procedure in case you ever get in that position. When the day is over, pull the boat up to the gas dock and fill it full of fuel. We hope you had a great time with us at Onboard, and we hope to see you again soon.